it's officially SummerSlam Saturday and you probably didn't expect to see foot cam to start off the vlog today, but Alex was nice enough to jump on this and uh, gift us all some SummerSlam 2023 socks uh, since we all went to SummerSlam together uh, last year. Uh, so cool little gift there and had to rock the socks here on SummerSlam Saturday. I am not going to be wearing this to the SummerSlam event tonight, but I am wearing this shirt for the Undertaker One Dead Man show. Uh, I got this shirt at the double taping that Madison Square Garden did uh, for MSG back in 2019. So there was a Raw with Austin that a SmackDown with The Undertaker, and I just thought this shirt was so cool. And uh, I think this actually is his last to date appearance at MSG. So, so excited to go see the dead man. Let's do this. But I do have another outfit for later on tonight for the big show itself. So I'm not sure how he did it, but, the, <laughs> but Alex Dorio got the Undertaker snakeskin pants from what is it, Survivor Series 2000? Yeah, so actually, you know, my, I lost my luggage, so I had to borrow some pants <laughs> from oh, my buddy, The Godfather. But there you go. That's all I had available. Oh, so, uh, man, those are awesome. For you're, so. you're all set, you're ready to go, and uh, man, that- The necklace, courtesy of Randy. We got the matching necklaces oh, on. Oh, wow, very got cool. Me. And a, check out Randy's Oh, Randy, shirt. let's see your, wow. Yeah. Wow, you're got all- the, Whoa! Undertaker Racing. Oh, Alex oh. got us a new just, just here. right here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've already started we with my feet to show off the SummerSlam socks. So. We were saying it draws attention to the crotch area. <laughs> and then I've got the matching necklace too. And the jelly roll pin. Jelly roll oh, pins. but I gotta go grab my jelly roll pin. It's upstairs. Yeah. Uh, He's got his on. Oh, we gotta all rock the jelly roll pins there. Yes, Let me zoom in on the jelly roll pin. Randy gifted all these to us to start the weekend. I had to, I wore mine yesterday. Uh, and yes. so let's see the back of the uh, the Undertaker oh, jersey. Full spin. Wow, that is so yeah, cool. Runway walk, real there you quick. go. Yeah, we're we're <laughs> qu quickly becoming a uh, you know shoes too. Whoa, he's got the Undertaker <laughs> shoes. Oh my god. I asked wow. Travis. I asked Travis like, you ever think that you'd have shoes that said Taker Easy on them somewhere out there in the universe? And he's just like, no. Man. That weren't it's him or stuff. Alex. Yeah. <laughs> I always thought we would have. Yeah, Alex, like, well, that was Travis who said that. Me, without question. Yeah, I nice. assume they'd take no over question. the nation. So. Yeah, take your socks. Wow, you're, you're ready to go. Very, very cool. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go, Undertaker. Here we go. We just made it to the Agora Theater for the Undertaker One Dead Man show. Quite the line here. Check an ID if you're drinking inside. Oh, all the Taker fans online here. Everyone's getting ready. Already nice and early on uh, at the show here. People do not look happy one bit about me filming them, but what can you do? Very cool. All right, there we go. Someone's got a pulse. Love it. All right, there goes the phone. We're getting rid of the phones here. And, uh, so. Yeah, no, for sure. Okay. Thanks, Taker. You got a photo with him, man. That's awesome. So we just wrapped up at the Undertaker show, and who made a surprise appearance but Victoria? And there she is, right after the show, taking a stroll ski with uh, looks like John Cena's biggest fan. Uh, but what a cool show! Did everyone enjoy the Undertaker's uh, One Dead Man show? Absolutely. Oh. More than our, more than got our money's worth. Very intent. Kane. Yeah, was there. Kane. Uh, we uh, heard about Big Dick Willie and Big Dick Hurts. Oh, man. My favorite tag team. Big Dick Willie. <laughs> I, I mean, piss your pants funny. When he, basically a fan had asked him, who, I guess like some random show, and God bless the fan, because I bet this guy's been thinking about it for 30 something years. Like and he asked him, uh, who you was who he wrestled at some random house show in New Haven, Connecticut, back in the '90s in a cage match, and Undertaker was like, "Oh, let me think about it. Let me think about it. <laughs> let me think about it." And then he goes, "I got it. It was Big Dick Willie." And uh, hilarious, just uh, incredible timing. I I was uh, very impressed by uh, the entire Dead Man show, and highly recommend it if you get an opportunity to go and check it out. You know, it's hilarious. He made, gave some really good insight into some things I didn't know. I didn't know, for example, uh, he, he said he told the story about WrestleMania 23. I had always heard that Batista did the follow that after their match, yep. but I hadn't known that like Taker 
was like, hey, you know, calm down, Shawn Michaels is to follow. Uh, so I thought that was really cool, and uh, he gave some great insight, and honestly some emotional moments as well. Victoria talked about his wedding day and how he got a little bit, um, you know, uh, emotional during that day, as anyone would. Uh, and then he gave some really great advice about being a father and the importance of being present. So it was uh, really, I, I loved the show. What a great precursor to SummerSlam. He went through his, uh, a lot of his SummerSlam run, which is what I was I was looking for that. Alex was looking for Kane and he gave us both. Kane so showed up. Kane was there. It was uh, very, very cool. So uh, Got to hear about drunk Kane trying to... Drug Kane, yeah. <laughs> Out drink uh, the apple schnapps. Yeah. Absolutely. No, it's very... Very funny and a uh, great show and a great way to get uh, hype for SummerSlam. All right, well, we just finished up with the Undertaker One Dead Man show and we're all hungry. So, Prost, it's time to go get some food. What better way to get some food than with some delicious German food? Here, I got myself a big pretzel, a rattler, maybe some schnitzel. Let's do this. This will be fun. I'm excited. I am starving too, so I'm gonna throw it out. All right, we're at Hochbrau. Here. Thank you, thank you. All right, here we go. It's a German restaurant. We gotta take a picture outside to it. I'll show you guys when we leave. It looks like a castle out there. It's really nice. So I'm guessing this is the beer cheese and this is the mustard. Yeah. If anyone wants to dig in, feel free. Looks like they're about to get started uh, with their stuff too. Familiar sight. We are back at the 27 Club, ready to get our drink of coffee on and get ready for the SummerSlam. A little MGK action. Here we go. A couple of the artifacts they have here at the 27 Club. towards SummerSlam. Looking forward to the outdoor show. I'm trying to figure out when the last outdoor show I went to was, but this is pretty cool to probably be WrestleMania 35. So it'll be cool to see this tonight. I'm excited about it. Should be a lot of fun. Oh, there's a couple of the sights and sounds right outside of Cleveland Brown Stadium for SummerSlam. Gotta check out some of these pieces, try to get into the second Superstore, which is located in the Cleveland Browns team shop. Kind of paying attention so I don't fall and pop a muscle or an arm. But this looks very cool. Looks like they've got a couple of booths set up at the Prime Tent. Not a fun guy myself. It doesn't mean it's not good. You've got the NXT tent for CW. And it looks like they've got the C4 Superstar Energy. Good old C4, maybe I'll grab myself a stick. Oh, okay. For the free show. Yeah, yeah. Hey, they've got a little 2K booth. KBC popcorn. So where are we going? Oh yeah, I believe so. You see Randy over there? Got Clay Matthews and Vernon Oh, you can design your sign. That's pretty cool. McIntyre. We got they're filming something over here. Roadmap of where I've been. Oh, it's a countdown show outside. It's just like Seth all the on stage. Is a roadmap to so when I see a punk promo video. You return was extremely poor. Ah, I love it when they sing. They're so good. Listen, listen to them beautiful voices out there. Cleveland, you're beautiful. I love you. Before bell time, 
people as far as you can see. Last, we have made it. SummerSlam Cleveland. Right here at Cleveland Brown Stadium. We've got Alex here, Randy, Uncle Dave. How are we doing? Ready for SummerSlam? Couldn't be more ready. All right. Let's go. Now, Let's go. now <laughs> that's right. We're, that might be where Jelly's playing. Ah, could be. Good old JR. Do we know, ready? Do we know why Cleveland Brown Stadium has no uh, like sponsor? Because yesterday was all about progressive, right? It used to be, uh, oh my god. You like it? Just got rid of the sponsor. Got rid of the sponsor. Uh, it's unheard of. Wow. Right? Yeah. Or maybe the licensing ran out. You know? That is pretty cool. Uh, lots of fun. Alex, what do you think of the show? 
Best SummerSlam of the three. Really? Second best show I've ever been to behind WrestleMania 20. Oh, yeah, and that, and that's my instant reaction. I love it. Wow. Uh, Randy, what about you? It was awesome. No uh, no spotlight this year. So this was number one for we me. Did we, did, we only got the it at event. the end. Spotlight yeah. came out. I, I think they heard me tell Alex, hey, you know, it's great we haven't had a spotlight. And they went, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. All right, well, here you go. Yeah. Or they heard me say when LA Knight won, I don't care what happens the rest of the show. But this show is made for me. And uh, they were like, all right, well, here's a big spotlight for you to end the night. But it wasn't bad. It wasn't like last year's. Jelly Roll versus Cody Rhodes next year. That's what I'm <laughs> it was incredible. Uh, and, of course, we got MGK. He was at the Guardians game last night, and we said uh, that he was probably here for WWE. Uh, but he never came out during Jelly Roll, but instead comes out with Logan Paul. So uh, very cool. Lots of Cleveland tie-ins. And uh, overall, great show. Uncle Dave, what do you think? You enjoy the show? Oh, God, yeah. I mean... Uh, great stuff, awesome, and uh, and yeah. Looks like we're going to Saudi Arabia next That's year. That's right. We have a we choice. Found we, we, found yes, we found the yeet. Yes, we found the yeet. 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 Randy comes through in the clutch at the last minute, the eleventh hour. Oh, I missed the Jelly Roll song for you. <laughs> for you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Coda's going to be so happy, and uh, well worth it.